Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the second annual AOL Autos Technology of the Year Award. Uh, we started this war award uh, last year because, as you can see by going into the hall over there, um, automotive technology is becoming a big part of CES. In the next few, few years, you're going to see things like automated cars that will drive you to and from work. Uh, you'll see hydrogen-powered cars that emit nothing but from the tailpipe but water. Automakers are making it easier to integrate our daily lives into cars, and cars are becoming the most mobile of mobile devices. Like the Los Angeles Times said earlier this week, at CES 2014, the hottest gadget is your car. In the second year of the Tech of Year Awards, we narrowed it down to six finalists. We take a look at um, Chevy's valet mode, we took a look at Volvo's pedestrian detection, uh, we took a look at a bunch of technologies from Mercedes, and we narrowed it down to one clear finalist, or one clear winner, actually, the Tesla Supercharger Network. Tesla's Supercharger Network it has the potential to change electric cars from novelty items to mainstream vehicles. The biggest stumbling block with electric cars is that they are hard to charge. Um, they don't go very far in one charge. Dri drivers have what we call range anxiety. They worry about how they'll get home if they're stranded someplace without some place to charge. And traditional chargers take about eight hours to power up a vehicle. But Tesla's network takes about 20 minutes to get the car from zero to half power. <clears throat> Tesla's placing the network strategically across the country so people can drive across from New York to California if they want. CEO Elon Musk has said he's heading out for a cross-country trip with his family at some point this year. Now, I should note that very few people on our panel actually got to test the, the supercharger network because um, we didn't have a Model S to, in our fleet at the time. But still, it was clearly heads and tails above everything else that we looked at. Some of our reporters have tried it, and we've been watching closely and listening for criti criticisms from the public who've been using it. And everyone who's used it has said that it works as promised. One of the people on our panelists on our panel called the Supercharger Network game changing. They used the word revolutionary and innovative. It was, in our minds, the most remarkable technology to be released in 2013. As Sebastian Blanco, editor of Autoblog Green, said, the Tesla Supercharger should win Tech of the Year, the Tech of the Year award for in 2014, no matter what the competition is, because it's really the only technology that stands to make a real difference in how the world moves. So please join me in inviting um, Alexis from Tesla up on stage to accept the, 20, the Tech of the Year Award. Congratulations. I just want to thank you, Sharon, and the AOL team for this award today. Um, when we set out to build Model S, we really wanted to build the best car, not just the best EV. Um, and we did so in many ways by building a car that gets almost 300 miles on a, on a single charge with performance and handling that rivals other, other premium sedans um, in its class. But the one thing that was sort of missing um, in order to advance electric vehicle adoption was the ability for people to take road trips. And the Tesla Supercharger um, it, it changes that. It's really a game changer. And so we thank you for recognizing what this technology is doing for electric vehicle driving. Well, it was, it was clearly the thing that got us most excited this year. Um, we have a couple questions for you. Um, Tesla showed off a, um, for people who can't get to the, to the supercharger network, you guys are also considering something else, a, a battery swap option. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so we did. Um, we will roll out a pilot program for battery swapping in the future. We actually demonstrated this um, about six months ago in LA, and so there are plans to do that down the road. And so that's just people come in and they put in a whole brand new battery? Yeah, so the idea is that you can swap a battery pack faster than it takes to fill up a, a tank of gas. So even though the Tesla Supercharger will charge, will put you know roughly 150 miles on Model S in 20 minutes, if you're looking for something even faster that really rivals that ability to just quickly fill up a tank of gas, you have the option, or you will have the option eventually, to swap out your battery pack instead. So it's like changing the light bulbs, the batteries in your flashlight. Exactly. Yeah. Very similar. Okay. Um, so have a lot of people been using the Supercharger network, and, and what, are, what are they telling you guys? 
Yeah, the Tesla Supercharger network is incredibly popular. I think more so than we could have ever anticipated. You know, as I mentioned, when we, we set out to do the Supercharger to sort of answer that final question for people, which is how do I take a road trip when I want to? And it, it, there's, there's a freedom in the ability to get behind the wheel and go however far you want to go. But it's not something that people often do. You know, you don't jump in the car and ever typically drive more than 300 miles in a single day anyway. So we didn't expect it to be quite as popular as it really has. But I, I think what the supercharger has done is because it's so fast, it's free, and it makes driving zero emission tailpipe, um, zero tailpipe emissions, We've, um, we've actually created a network that encourages people to take road trips, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted people to drive their cars. And are you finding that um, you know, people are doing this in groups, or are they doing it kind of like becoming Tesla car clubs? Yeah, well, our, our owners do love to gather and to get together and kind of do road rallies and cars and coffee type things. So um, I think it's really kind of encouraging that community to get together and to decide to take road trips. But it's also just encouraging families to jump in their car and, you know, drive from San Diego to Vancouver rather than taking a flight, which is actually a trip that I had the opportunity to do earlier this year. And how did that go? It was incredible. I mean, it's it's a little bit daunting at first when you think of getting in a car, particularly an electric vehicle, for, for 2,000 miles. And in the past, it would have been almost impossible or at least have taken weeks of planning to do that in an EV. But with the Tesla Supercharger, you can, you can jump into the car with very little planning and go 2,000 miles, you know, from all the way up the West Coast for free. So this supercharger network, though, it, it, it only works for Tesla cars, right? It's not open to other electric vehicles? Right. It is just for the Model S at this point. It will be compatible with our models down the road. Okay. And why did you guys decide to do that? Um, Model S was designed at the beginning to be a road trip car, and most electric vehicles aren't. It was really important to us in the original design that we created a car that went 300 miles. And other, other EVs on the market right now have maybe a 100-mile range. Um, so it's not really built from the beginning to be, to be a road trip car. And then, of course, there's a bunch of software and, and hardware that's required on top of it. Um, other EVs typically don't even have battery packs that can handle that amount of power, too, is another thing hanging them back. So you guys have um, more cars just than the Model S. Right now, you're only making the Model S. Tell me a little bit about your future product plans. Yeah, so um, the first car we created was the Tesla Roadster. We made about 2,500 units of that. It was our proof of concept car. And then we've moved to Model S. We began production of that last year. And uh, later this year, at the end of 2014, we will begin deliveries of Model X, which is our crossover SUV. It's built on the same platform as Model S. And then about three to four years down the road, we will come out with um, about a $30,000 car so that we can make electric vehicles increasingly more affordable and available to the masses. So tell us about the Model X. The Model X um, is got a really neat feature that everybody likes to take pictures of and talk about. Tell, tell us a little bit about what the, the back doors. Yeah, so the, the Model X has the Falcon Wing doors that, that everybody's very excited about. They're um, double hinge doors similar to kind of the traditional goal wing, except you only need a couple inches on either side of the car to open them up. They actually open up and out so that if you're parked very closely to another car, you can just easily open them up in a, in a tight space. So um, those are definitely something that, that people are excited about seeing. Yeah, so they'll come up and they'll there'll be like wings on the car, yes, right? Exactly. Yeah, pretty neat. Yeah. I can imagine myself banging my head on that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you're actually able to stand up in the back seat, and so that's what was what was so important about it is that um, you know Elon and our designers really wanted to create a car that, with a third row seat, didn't force you to have to kind of do gymnastics to get into the into the the back row. Right. You can just easily step in to the to the third row. And so you guys only make one car at a time right now. Can you tell me a little bit about what that, why that is and how, how, far, how long until you plan on making multiple cars at a time? Yeah, so right now we're very focused on Model S. Um, and of course, starting next year, we will be building Model X at the same time. It's built on a similar platform. And then down the road, when we introduce our third generation vehicle, we'll be in a place where we can be producing multiple models at a time. Great. Um, so the Model X is only going to be an all-wheel drive vehicle? Um, yes, it'll, be, it'll have an option for dual motor. OK. So yes, all-wheel drive. OK. Uh, one of the things I, I've heard our CEO, Tim Armstrong, talk about, he's got a neighbor who has a Tesla. And he absolutely loves the sort of the front display, the iPad. 
um, looking display. How important are, are those interior electronics to um, your drivers? And how, like, you know, is that one of the selling factors? People are just like fascinated by the, how the inside looks? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the 17-inch the touchscreen is, is something that you don't find in any other car on the road. So that's definitely very special to Model S and something that people really notice immediately and kind of blows them away. It's really the brains of the car is how I describe it. Um, you know, you have a web browser on there, you have Google Maps, so the navigation is just incredible. And particularly when you're taking a road trip, it's so easy to be able to just plug in where you're going, see where the Tesla superchargers al are along the way, and just easily route that, that trip. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming all the way this the way to get the reward. Um, thank you. And we're uh, really excited to give it to you this year. Thank you so much, thank Sharon. Thank you. It's a pleasure.